Thanks for coming. I'm surprised you asked for me. Considering you once told my boss I was a unique combination of lazy and ineffectual. The conversation my attorney and I are about to have will be privileged. I want all cameras removed. Yeah. Detective, is Vanessa still speaking with her attorney? Vanessa's attorney just left. We need you to get Ms. Watkins out of custody. Uh, a little late for that. Vanessa knocked her attorney out cold, took her clothes, and walked right out of here. No wonder she requested Sarah Ellis. I'd be willing to wager they're similar in age, height, and build. Finch, no sign of Vanessa at the bus station. I think I might know why. As a prosecutor, Ms. Watkins would know the extent of the city's surveillance network. She could have avoided the cameras altogether. That's just it. She doesn't. She looks right at them. She got caught on camera on purpose. She has no intention of getting on that bus. Ms. Watkins has already proven herself practiced at the art of deception. She's beginning to remind me of you, Mr. Brees. I'll have Miss Shaw retrace Vanessa's steps. Vanessa seems to have picked the pocket of an old man in an orange jacket before she left the station. Have you seen anything that would give you an indication where she was going? Nope. But the old man from the footage is back. I'm gonna ask him. Excuse me, did you lose something? Um, a wallet, maybe? No. But I did misplace my cell phone. Well, if you give me the number, I know somebody who can track it. Scott Rawlins. Perhaps he dumped the gun that killed Jeremy. Were you able to ask him about the planted evidence? No. Because someone just planted evidence on him. Finch, the cops just arrested Scott Rollins for possession with intent to sell. Had a brick of cocaine identical to the one Reginald gave Vanessa. She planted drugs on the witness against her to discredit him. Exactly what I would have done. In that case, I still can't speak to whether she's a victim or a perpetrator. But Vanessa can. She's stuck around to admire her own work. Frame a man up, then steal his car to get away. You're good, Vanessa. We need to talk. Your husband's blood on the deck, GSR on your hands. And on my cosmetics. You read the police report. I swiped a copy from Cameron's desk on my way out of the station. Wouldn't you? Probably. My husband wasn't murdered. He drowned. Someone planted that evidence and framed me.